Eisner, Ignatz, and Harvey Awards, and his work has been translated into several languages. He spends his time working on his art, various music projects, and doing illustration work for clients ranging from American Life to CNN to Life Magazine. Following his presentation, Paul will take your questions. He'll then stick around to sign books, which you can purchase downstairs on your way out of the store. Please join me in welcoming Paul Hornschmeyer to The Strand. Thank you. I'm going to use my NPR voice. <clears throat> is that all right? Am I breaking the microphone? I was going to pick it up and really work the room, but is that, yeah? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so as I was just telling my friend Jason, this event is sponsored by Dell. I'd like to thank them for their generous contributions. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, all right. So. Um, I actually need some help in reading these comics. Um, would anyone like to volunteer to come up and be my mom? Or be the character's mom, because this character is not at all a veiled version of me. OK, all right. You're going to have to be my mom then. Come on up. Yes, it's you. Uh, I mean the character's mom. Um, this is good, actually, because I did want it to be a guy. Uh, mainly, there's a lot of characters in Life of Mr. Dangerous that are sort of just kind of people in my life that received sex changes uh, in the book. Um, the main character, Amy, is certainly based in large parts on me. But then it's also based on my sisters. That's no slam on there you know, femininity or anything like that. Um, they're not mannish, uh, but <laughs> it's kind of an amalgamation of several people. So let's see, I press this once, now it's on. Try talking into that. Oh wait, yes, I think that's on. Hello. Yeah, oh yeah, ooh. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna take a whole nother, whole nother route that I wasn't expecting. Sexy mom, all right. Um, so I don't know if you wanna just grab a Sure, book. sure. Down the book. So, Reading comics is always extremely weird. Uh, I've done it a few different ways. It's definitely a lot easier with comics that have a lot of voiceover narration, which this book has exactly zero voiceover narration, so there isn't any opportunity to do that. So we're just going to try this as a, a two-person play. So at first, I think I'll just keep you up here. Is that is there anything I can do to stop that thing? Or is that just... It's just because I'm just so massive a personality. I'm just blowing it out, right? Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> I got to not do the bassy things. All right. Um, and I have need to make sure that doesn't turn off. So why don't you'll be, you'll be the mom and the Chinese food uh, maitre d' uh, and the, uh, let's see, you can also be the ice cream clerk. Okay. Um, and we will cut before I have sex with you. Okay. That's my promise to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but read the book if you want to see me and him getting it on. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So we'll start. Uh, so I'm going to be Amy, the main protagonist. Amy is basically, as you just heard, a uh, woman in her mid 20s who's uh, kind of working a dead end retail job, trying to both have a relationship with her infantilizing mother and not become her infantilizing mother. Um, I think it's about all you need. She has a cat that she talks with and is basically her only friend. She has a really upbeat, happy life, is what I'm trying to say. So, all right. Uh, 12? Fuck. Great. Who's is still five or six blocks away? I can't run. I'm already sweating. Why am I always sweating anyway? Can you start menopause at 26? <sighs> Barren, sweating, and 12 minutes late. What's not to like? Welcome to Who's? Just one today? Actually, I'm meeting some. Uh, I see her. Thanks. Enjoy your time with us. <laughs> That's a nice accent. Wow, you're all right. I'm going to have to pay you like royalties after this. All right. Hi, <laughs> Hi Mom. Sorry I'm late. Hi, sweetie. You OK? <laughs> I think we found your hidden talent. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I was late. That doesn't mean something's wrong. Well, you were 20 minutes late, Amy. Mom, I'm really sorry. Can we just let it go and enjoy dinner? Okay, I just wish you wouldn't make me worry so much. This is, this is horribly accurate. Um, <laughs> did you order already? 
No, I was waiting for you. Mm. Oh, that's you from off camera. So. Hmm. Oh, now this looks good. Number 10, maybe I'll get that. Grumble. <laughs> I will spell out the, sh the shorthand for you. <laughs> that is a grumble shorthand. Uh, and then that's somebody the whose dialogue. Sure, you're the waitress. <laughs> Be right back with the drinks. So, how's Eric? Are things, uh, how are things with you two? I'm going to cut in for a second. Uh, wow, I'm just going to, this is awesome because I can just do the Charlie Brown parent voice <laughs> by distorting the microphone. Um, geez. Uh, so she, at the beginning of the book, she has either broken up with or been dumped by her horrible boyfriend, uh, but you're not really entirely sure what's happening because you only hear one side of the phone conversation, but they break up over the phone and hilarity ensues. Uh, all right, so that's who Eric is. Uh, I broke up or... Well, I guess it was mutual. But anyway, we ended things. I'm sorry. Did you two have a fight or is... Mom, come on. No, it wasn't anything like that. It was just a long time coming. We were really bad for each other. Was he... Mom, it's my birthday dinner. Well, regardless, it's his loss. I just failed to understand why she can't work the register. Lisa's the exact same way. I don't even think I've ever seen her fold a shirt. But what can I do? I can't quit as much as I like to sometimes. Right, right. Chew, 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 chew. Should we open your present now? Sure, there's no time like the present. Yuck, yuck. <sighs> you and your father with your puns. Well, let's get the plates out of the way. Happy birthday, sweetie. I'm just going to do one thing real quick to see if this helps. All right, did that help at all? No, that didn't help at all, did it? Sometimes that's a loose cable thing, but all right. Unwrap, unwrap. They only had one size left, so I just thought it was too cute to pass up. Oh my it, God. If it's not the right size, I can exchange it. Thanks, Mom, it's really cute. Do you think it'll fit? Really, I can take it. I, no, I'm, I'm sure it fits me fine. How was everything today? Very good, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, just we don't, uh, do you not take American Express? Sorry, just Visa and MasterCard. Mom, I can help out, or at least let me get... It's your birthday. I'm buying you dinner. I can buy my little girl dinner on her birthday. You headed that way? Yeah, I'm, I'm parked over on Morris. Happy birthday, sweetie. I love you. Thanks, Mom. Love you, too. Awkward hug. <laughs> It's implied. <laughs> All right. Walk, 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 walk. Sad getting your car. Ready to go, Hubert? And how old are you today, little girl? Strange transformation into fantasy version of Amy that will be explained later in the book. Drive, drive, drive. I expect you to be saying these things in your head while you read the book, by the way. <laughs> There's the whole subtext. I have a separate blog you can read, and it'll translate everything for you. I'm just kidding. All right. Meow. Yeah, it's me. Pretty exciting. I'll be the cat. Um, <laughs> cut it out, Morris. I had a shitty dinner, all right? Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry. Come on. Let's see what's on TV. Cool. Mr. Dangerous. Back to back. Oh, you can be the TV. How about that? <laughs> a talking turnip away, devil. Jesus. This is great. If there's an animated version, you're going to have to okay. we'll hire you as a voice actor. It. This episode's kind of boring, but the next one's on pretty soon. What might seem a hug from a mortal man, I know to be your Rudy Strangle. Uh-oh. Bad breath. <laughs> Sad sitting in the bedroom. Uh, you can be the answering machine. Yeah, sure. Hey, this is Michael. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Oh, shit. He's in. Beep. Hey, Michael. I'm going to cut in with an editorial note. Michael is her best friend in uh, San Francisco that she's, well, I won't give too much away. Anyway. Hey, sorry. It's Amy. I completely forgot you were still in Portland. He's in Portland right now. I just, uh, sorry. It's I just got back from dinner with my mom. She gave me a present and... It's just, I'll tell you about it when you get back. So anyway, sorry, uh, give me a call. Oh, I just fucked up face, okay. Meow. That's the, the cat just implies that every time he comes into a room. Don't throw up on that, okay? Meow. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Why did why didn't I do this sooner? The manure that confused can oh, the manure that confused me can be infused with radiation. The antimatter episode again? What's the deal? The complete opposite. When the two meet, kablam! At last, I'll be rid of that bell-nosed baby. Fuck this. I'm getting ice cream. I'll be back in a little bit, Moritz. Descend staircase. Descend staircase more. Look up at stars. Pondering. Big volatile gas balls. I recognize that they're plasma. Please do not send me a geeky email telling me that stars aren't actually gas. I realize that. I didn't want to change it. We'll just go with it. All right. And they shrink you into nursery rhymes. <laughs> Let's get some Rocky Road stars. There is a whole scene in between this, but we're just going to jump straight to the ice cream shop because I know you want to know what kind of ice cream she gets. All right. Yes, it's page 63 in your hymnal. Got it. Amen. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still deciding. I'm not usually this bad. No problem. There's no rush. I've got to wash dishes. Just give me a shot when you're ready. Next page is you. Oh. So you think you picked the right one? Yeah, it's it's really good. Thanks. Hey, no problem. I like scooping ice cream. I mean, it's hard to hate that part, right? It's washing all these dishes that sucks. There's always a pile of them. I'm so in about cleaning them that they take forever, but the real problem is when I finish them. Because then I'm so happy with myself that I let myself take a break from them, and then in no time, ta-da, back in the same boat. That reminds me of, did you see that Mr. Dangerous where... Farmer, Farmer Greg loses his amnesia with the manure. No, I've, I've honestly never seen that show, which sucks because people are always quoting it. I end up knowing a bunch of lines of, to a show I've never seen. Well, okay, so you know the basic characters, right? Mr. Dangerous and Farmer Greg and... No, I mean, Mr. Dangerous, sure, but what is he? Some kind of tiki dude or something? No, he's just weird. I guess what he is is sort of the plot of the show. He's got this neighbor, Farmer Greg... The show never says they're anything more than neighbors, but sometimes I think Farmer Greg is his, is Mr. Dangerous's dad. But anyway, Farmer Greg stays out in the sun too long one day and gets amnesia. And in the amnesia, he forgets who Mr. Dangerous is. And he sometimes he thinks he's a weed, a rabbit, something he has to take care of, a baby, whatever. It's different every episode. Amnesia from standing in the sun? Whatever. It's a good show. But what you were just saying with the dishes, that reminded me of this episode where Farmer Greg gets a whiff of this weird manure. And just for a second, the amnesia's gone, and he realizes, hey, this is my neighbor, and they're okay for, with each other. For a second, everything's great. But then Mr. Dangerous is so happy at being recognized that he jumps, and he knocks a vase onto Farmer Greg's head, and duh, the amnesia comes right back. Huh. Weird. Probably not really my speed, but it sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess it's pretty interesting. So, uh, uh, hey, so I'm closing up now, but... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, I was going to say, do you do you want to hang out if you're not doing anything? Oh, well, uh... We could watch a movie at my place or something. Sure, okay. Cool, just chill out for a couple of minutes while I close things up. So it's just uh, Bridgeport and then a couple miles. You're okay to follow me? Sure. Start up the car. Okay, okay. Lighten up. He's really nice. It's not like he said something shitty like, that show sounds fucking dumb. He's not Eric, at least. What do you expect? Why do you expect people to rewrite the universe in the first five sentences? There's tons of stuff I haven't seen. Michael's always mentioning movies that I haven't... Ugh, Michael, Jesus, what the fuck am I doing? Well, he's in San Francisco anyway. Portland, whatever. Jesus, why did I leave him that message? Great. Now I need to fart. Perfect. And that's it. <laughs> I thought we'd end on a solid fart note. So, Sir, thank you very much. A hand for my assistant. There you go. All right. I think I'm going to use this one. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, you're going to turn me down? Don't do it. I'm loving this. <laughs>